This is Hosea 4 and verse 6. My people are freaking. Uh, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, Yahweh. I will also forget thy children. See, thy children, even unto the third or fourth generation. That's, how, that's two thirds right there. A lack of knowledge. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, and the healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, right? In truth and sincerity. Now, I don't know what the hell is going on lately. You see, there's many false prophets. See, we, we coming up until the end right here, Israel. We coming up until the end, but there's many, many false prophets. Deceiving and being led into a ditch, blind leading the blind. There's so many of them. Uh, all these uh, pastors popping up, talking this, talking that, you know. And and now and now they just coming straight against the, the the Hebrew Israelites. Just straight up against the Hebrew Israelites. Why? It's because these these niggas are are, are, are linked in, man, and they're full of crap. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is gonna kill you. And you keep playing around. You you keep going up in these harlot houses. You keep, keep playing around. You keep listening to this and listening to that. Go along to get along and tap dancing for the devil. And your how about Shimmy Yahusha is going to destroy you. I'm going to go to straighten them out, but I'm going to do it with chapter and verse. Amen. I want to straighten them out. Amen. Hebrew Israelites. They say we the real Hebrews. Glory to God. Well, let's just see what the scripture said. Amen. Amen. We the real Hebrew. Black. Black this. Black that. Let's just see what the scripture said. The only difference between the KKK and the Hebrew Israelites is that the Hebrew Israelites is black and the KKK is white. Both of them are hate groups. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge. Listen to what the scriptures say. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. He said, my people are destroyed for the lack of of knowledge because I want to show you today who are the true Hebrew Israelites when we are not the, the true Hebrew Israelite you see we were adopted into the family we are the second adoption we are the second adoption there was a first adoption before us and I'm going to show you with scripture you understand there was an adoption that took place before the Gentiles. And God is a spirit. And we are not his biological. Those indeed to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now this is talking about the Israelites. Now, this is talking about the Israelites. God had to choose them. Ain't that what the scripture say? Huh? This is God's chosen. That's why Israel was called God's, I got I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. He said, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brother. For my brethren, my kinsmen, listen now, according to the flesh. Now Paul said, he wished he was a curse from Christ for my brethren. Now who are they? Paul said, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Paul is letting you know that what? That he is an Israelite. Amen. Amen. The Gentiles was the second adoption. That's us. But the evidence that our Lord sprung out of Judah. Yes, sir. Yes. He came from the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Not us. We didn't come from those 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus Christ, the one that sprung up out of Judah. So it's not possible for us to be Hebrew Israelites. We didn't come from that lineage. Jesus Christ is the one who came from that lineage. We didn't. Ezekiel was told, you got to eat the whole roll. You see that right there? You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. I mean, how many preachers? And, and they've, been said, they've been said against us. They've been said against us, but that's okay. See, these things, this is prophecy. You know, here at Great Millstone, hey, this is prophecy. We stay occupied in prophecies. Continually bringing out daily. You see these pack, uh, pork, uh, I, I was going to say pack chop. <laughs> that's a mixture between uh, Pac-Man and pork chop. You know, but anyway, you know, that's what they do is chomp. They chomping down at the bit on a, a, a wicked ass philosophies and things that are upside down and clean contrary to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Now, what did he do? He clean cut his own damn self with the scriptures. I'm going to prove it in scriptures. We're not the Hebrew Israelites. We're just the Gentiles. What the scriptures say? What the scriptures say what would happen? And that's a, that's a straight cut. So, so who are the people? Who are the people? You talking about the 1948ers over there in that land? You talking about them? Oh, they the true people? We just Gentiles, right? But here it is. Now, 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 pay attention to this right here. Pay attention. Now, here it is. The, all throughout the Bible, it says the Israelites, only the Israelites, the Israelites. It's a reoccurring theme. And it's not just the theme, it's the truth. So let me, you know, let me take that back. It's not a theme, it's the truth. All throughout the Bible it talks about the Israelites. He brought out Romans verse 9. For I'm going to read it. And this is some bullshit, man. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Salakia, for the language, it is what it is. You know, some of us may be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. And that's just what it is, what it is, man. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. What? He gave us this heritage since before the foundations of the earth. All the other nations are likened under spittle, a uh, uh, small dust and a bounce, all kinds of different things. Nothing. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. And he's, uh, uh, Yahweh Shimei Al is very angry. It's only been two days, remember? It's only been two days since the, uh, since the Heavenly Father Yahweh gave his son up. For what? His brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. And we can go, hey, you want to go back into that too? Yep, it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Isn't it? Yes, it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So, so what is he saying? Them 1948ers, they, uh, uh, that, that's Yehawda? Is that what he's saying? And we just regular old Gentiles? But wait a minute, hold on. What Bible are you reading here? You know, you know what that means? That means that you can't be saved. You are uh, you uh, uh, leading the blind into a ditch, man. This is crazy. Romans 11 and verse 23. And they also, if they abide not uh, still in unbelief, shall be grafted in for the Mosiah Yahweh is able to graft them in again. You see? Uh, uh, man, he went into several different uh, 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 precepts, if you will, and didn't break any of them down. He cut his own self anyhow. And you got those people all up in the, man, I can't stand these damn st uh, stupid churches, man. These harlot houses. You get no edification. You get nothing. Now you are there. Here you are coming up, get, coming up against your own brothers that's telling you the 100% truth on the highways and byways. And you up in there, uh, up in the harlot houses, acting, acting like a damn uh, uh, coon and then buffooning like a damn monkey. I said it. He, you know, how you gonna graft? How you gonna be grafted in again to something you didn't belong to in the first place? You see, it's a, and that's a whole other cold cut to them small headers. There again, haven't they always known who they were? Don't they claim that? Don't those people claim that? No, nope, we're just Gentiles. But well, hey, that's a that's a Christianity uh, mentality. That's what uh, uh, fake white man Jebus uh, uh, teaches you. That's what Esau Edom teaches you that you you ain't shit. That's basically what he says, because he knows the scriptures and him being a pastor should know himself 
that it's all about the Israelites, the elect. Okay? That's what's up, man. It's all about the elect grafted in again. Jeremiah 31, verse 32. This ain't got to be long. You know, this ain't got to be long, man. Jeremiah 31, verse 32. Quick, straight, and to the point. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Who? The Israelites. In the day, and here, and here it is. Uh, you, uh, go to Deuteronomy 28. Go to the curses. This, do these other people fit that? No. You fit that. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And here at Great Millstone, it ain't no BOI bullcrap neither. It, it ain't no everybody's going to come and look like John Shaft or, 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 or you know, or Le, or LeBron James or, or whatever the hell, all, any of them. They come, uh, come looking like a speckled bird. See, these Christian churches, they ain't got it. They don't have it. And I guarantee you he understands way more about what he was saying. He just uh, teaching deceitfully for his, own, for his own gain. A damn dumb dog, man. Jeremiah 31 and verse 32. Now, according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Written about in Exodus. And here it is. El Yashwamba went in too early today. Here it is. They still wiggling around the earth and acting a damn fool. Walked uh, wandering around for 40 years. You know, when it could have took a month to get where you needed to go. Why? Because they trying every damn thing else. Uh, 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 the whole, them hotep niggas. Uh, uh, you know, e Egyptology. Uh, Buddhism. What, I mean, whatever. Uh, uh, Guad Guadalupe. You see, uh, 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 what's a uh, 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 rappers Christos, Ch Cesare, Christianity, uh, 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 what's that other dumbass religion? Um, the uh, Islam. There ain't no prophets. There ain't no and, and none of these and, and and everybody's got something to say about the Hebrew Israelites. Everybody and their mama has something to say about the Hebrew Israelites. And he interjected that black in there. He sound like vocab Malone. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my uh, uh, with so it's like which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord Yahweh. You see, he is our bridegroom. Has, did he come back yet? Did he put his people in their land? Uh, it's all kinds of uh, different precepts I could go into right here. Oh, boy. Verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their power. And they shall be my people. But he never put us away all the way. I mean, hey, hey, look at it right there in, in the wilderness. You know, hey, uh, when, uh, when Moses came back, he came back down. He said, man, you know, just go ahead. You can get, just get you can just get rid of you can kill me now because these niggas don't want to listen. But they'll listen, they'll listen to everything else. Falsehoods, bull crap. You know, uh, uh, the woman is God. I, I mean, come on, man. <sighs> Bunch of nonsense. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. He read this too. You know, go to the curses, go to all this, go to all that. The, t the tents of Judah have, have awoken first. Hey, he's joining us together. One stick right here in the land of what? In the land of the north, Babylon, uh, uh, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. And all these things are happening yet again. They teach him deceitfully. These niggas know what the hell they saying. You know, I truly believe that. And I speak as a man when I say that. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Who's this talking about? It's talking about the children of Israel. It's talking about the children of Israel. Here it is. Ezekiel 37 said, I would join them together one stick, northern and southern kingdom. These two prophets are going to torment these people upon the earth. The, the word has reached the gates of the nobles. If you, you forget about all these scriptures? You, you wicked ass pastors? And you think you winning because you because you think you slick. You ain't winning nothing. The, the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites from the, of the, their perspective tribes. We winning through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, his words are not going to go out void. 
Everybody who needs to hear it is going to hear it. And everybody who uh, who was uh, has that set measure to be uh, left here and melted is going to get freaking burned. All right. Because we the salt of the earth, man. All roads lead to the M.O.T. to the B. And he, he, he's, he's going to be the first one to tell the congregation, go ahead and take it. You need to eat. You see, he'll tell his congregation that some of these damn Israelite are like groups say the same thing. It was, it was the same thing with that Capri son. Huh? Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Look up the word holy. It means separate, set apart. Apostles, elders. You know, some uh, some uh, 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 some apostles, some elders, some teachers. All kinds of different things, man. You know, prophets, man. There's no more prophets. There's no more this. There's no more that. All this damn time. You've been teaching this and that. God is love. God is love. Now, all of a sudden, you got all kinds of hate for the Hebrew Israelites. And these people are so blinded, they can't even see it. They, you're going to say, oh, wait a minute. Hold on now. This is some bullshit, man. Wait a minute now. Why you got such hate against your own brothers? All they out there doing is trying to tell you who you are so you can repent and come back. So we can get the hell up out of here. Pandering to women. Pander in the punks and faggots. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. All right. The Lord Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know, and whether Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has it in the works, you know, for me or other brothers to be martyrs or whatever the hell. You know, I pray that he gives me the strength to endure. That's the difference between the real tr uh, true Hebrew Israelites that have 100% truth and everybody else that's faking. Romans 9 and verse 1, I say the truth in Hamashiach Yahushai. I lie not. My conscience also beareth me witness in the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. See, it's got to be dealing with you. Anybody can come up with a precept packet. Uh, okay. Yeah, and again, a hey, apostle to her, uh, uh, the elder, a uh, uh, beloved apostle to her himself said it that, you know, hey, it's okay to have a precept packet, but you got to, uh, but the spirit's got to be dealing with you, though. You got to know where to go. What if somebody comes up and asks you something that's out of that precept packet? What, if, you know, what if you can't really uh, break down and explain uh, 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 these things? That are written there in the Bible, man. The, the, the scripture said you have an unction and you know all things. Study. Read. It's not good enough to go along to get along. You know, mess around and, and sit back like a little chump. This is the front line. This is a spiritual walk, a spiritual battle. Verse 2. I have great heaven. It's a continual sorrow in my heart. And that's your mind. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Mashiach Yahweh Shai. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Now hold on now. What did Hebrews 7 and verse 38 say? It is far it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Judah, the head tribe of the Israelites. Judah is the so-called Negroes. So-called uh, so called Levi. Uh, uh, Salakia. You know, Levi. Uh, uh, you know, I said that wrong. I said so-called Levi. You know, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. That's what I meant to say. It came out. It came out right that time. <laughs> you know, that's the head tribe, man. Why is it? That's why it's far evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. He said, I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the root and the offspring of David. Go back to the curses. That right there, I tell you that he's an Israelite. That'll tell you to all the people up in there. Uh, dumb as hell yeah okay the preach preach pastor preach pastor you don't even understand what the hell he's saying he knows he's teaching deceitfully and again you how about you y'all shot's gonna kill you man he's gonna kill you for that you little punks you afraid to, you afraid to go out there on the highways and byways and make your own body a living sacrifice but you'll sit up in a harlot house where your how about you y'all shy uh does not dwell and teach the people all, that they that they're pieces of shit. That's what you. That's what he told you. He told you you're nothing. 
Verse 3, for I wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the anointed, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to who pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. That's, that's both covenants, isn't it? You see? You heard, you heard what he said? Uh, 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 no, uh, we're going to get the next covenant. What the hell are you talking about? Man, y'all, you ain't got it, man. You ain't got it. And I would say come and get this work, but you know what? When we see Christians coming, y'all can just kick rocks. You already got it in your mind that God loves everybody, but you spewing all kinds of hate uh, against the Hebrew Israelites. How the hell we equal to a to a bunch of damn redneck uh, 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 KKK members? How? We killing them with the word through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh not hanging people up and, and plucking off uh, plucking off penises and, and, and breasts and, and, and burning people, giving them the alligators and making them mate. We making them, uh, 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 you know, uh, boy, oh boy, there's a whole lot I want to say right now. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, I can bridle my tongue. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory of the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of the most high power and the promises. Now, hold on. Who the world Adrian calls Jesus? His name is Yahweh Shai. Who to come back for? Let's read it. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Verse five. Whose are the fathers as of whom concerning the flesh? Amashiach Yahweh Shai came. Who is over all? Power, blessed forever, amen. So shall it be done. He bared his cross. We got to bear ours now. Uh, we don't went through it. It's going to get worse. That's, hey, that's why we pray without ceasing. Okay? But you, you, I, 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 you, boy, oh boy. This is only for the elect anyway. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. Y'all got a, y'all got a rude awakening coming. You want to get melted? Yeah, just, then, uh, I, I know I'm an Israelite. I know I'm an Israelite. That's not good enough. Faith without works is dead. It's not good enough. Second Corinthians 11 verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. But what through Isaac shall thy seed be called? Not through freaking Esau, Amalek, them same people that he alluded to that was the real true people of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's further from the truth. He said he hates them with perfect hatred. He said he, he said he made them just to be destroyed, to be the hammer of the earth, to punish his children. Why? Because they went off. He loves his children. That's why he punished us. Yet this day we are in our captivity and you still got niggas teaching the same old bull crap that Esau Edom gave you when you was had chains about your neck. It's the same thing. Salakia, I'm, I'm animated. That's how I teach. And I hope it's edifying. Verse 23, are they ministers of Hamashiach Yahawashai? I speak as a fool. I am, I am more in labors, in labors, more abundant in stripes above measure in prisons, more frequent in deaths, oft, deaths oft. Hmm. You see this? <laughs> you see this right here? Psalm 69, verse 22. Let their table be a snare. Before them, what? Let their table be a snare. This is a damn trap. And you all got caught, man. You snap, snap. Uh, you, you got caught in a snap trap. You see? You got caught in a glue trap, a snare. You all, you, you all hidden. In, yeah, the scripture said they are hidden in prison houses. They open out the, uh, the gates of the prisons. <laughs> they say, come let us cut them off from being a nation. And then you, and then you just go right along with it. Why? Why? Because you truly hate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you have no fear of him. Oh, he'll show you. Didn't he say, I will laugh when your calamity, he's going to laugh. He said, when that new Jerusalem come down, we're going to be happy. We're going to laugh. We're going to be doing all kinds of different things through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. And it is what? Lawful. Why? 
because that will be the new covenant. <laughs> you get it? Uh, we in the new covenant now. I'm never going to die, man. You better not tip your how about him, y'all shy. What the hell's wrong with you? You crazy as hell. You are out of your mind, man. You are a madman. Truly, oppression maketh the wise man mad. Psalms 69, verse 22. Let their table be a snare before them, that which, sh uh, which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Wow. It could have been for their welfare, but uh-uh. Let it become a trap. Through the, uh, through the abundance of the mouth, the heart, uh, the heart, the mouth speaketh. And that's coming out of your mind. You leading them astray and you know you are. Those shall, that shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. Shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to have your head down. You know? You're going to have your head down. No, but we're going to prove uh, these are black Hebrew Israelites. Uh, we're going to prove them wrong through the scriptures. Uh, somebody with me today. Uh, shake a pot in your face. Everything done away with, but you could eat some goddamn pork. Salakia. Mm, there, yeah, there you go. But you can eat some pork and give me my tithes. I got to get that brand new. I got to have that money. I got to get that brand new Cadillac. The Lord said I need two Lear jets. You bunch of damn punks. Verse 23. <clears throat> and don't have the kahunes to go out and teach nobody nothing. Because you scared. You afraid. You should have a healthy fear of your how about shimmy how shy, you big dummy. As Red Fox said, you big dummy. Verse 23, let their eyes be darkened that they see not. Who did the who did the eye the eye darkening? Your how about shimmy how shy? Who cut who cut off their understanding? Who's who said I don't want them to get it anyway? As the elder Hawaii says, get, get out of my face. He said that, but the scripture said, I don't know. He said, I'm, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. You're going to get shunned and smited. Bring them hither and slay them before me. See? Verse 23, let their eyes be darkened, that they see not and make their loins continually shake. You know what your loins are. You shaking like a little biatch. You know, what's, what, uh, Snoop, Snoop Dogg said, biatch. You shaking like a leaf on a tree. Huh? You wait, man. You wait. You chose the wrong path. Matter of fact, he chose it for you. Shall there be evil done in the city and the Lord have not done it? Who can, uh, who, uh, who can eat meat, man? Those that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. We're going to prove these niggas wrong today. Ha! <laughs> Verse 24, pour out thine indignation upon them and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. This is beautiful. You know, hey, a brother posted this, uh, this scripture earlier today. It wasn't on the comment board. It's in the chat, you know, and hey, this, that, that's right on point. That's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot. Let them be caught up in their own damn traps. You know, which, which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah sent Esau Edom to tell, to tell you, you go tell the people. You know what he say in that movie? That's my nigga. <laughs> you know that movie Belly? That's my nigga, right? Go on, go on and tell him that's my nigga. You, you a bunch of punks, man. <laughs> Pour out that indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents, for they persecute him. Whom thou hast have smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Oh boy, man, you 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 are a generation of damn vipers. You you know better than the heathens. That's why you got to go. Somebody got to go. Somebody got to go. And two thirds. That's that's that number. That's you know what that is. That's six hundred and uh six uh six hundred and sixty six. No, that's 66.6 .6 repeated. You know, repeated. You know something about math. You know what repeated is. Huh? Isaiah, what's, what that, what that brother just said? He said, she'll put me out. Something like, I don't know what the hell he just said. Isaiah 1 of verse 3. You know, they don't even consider it, man. They don't give a damn. They don't care. 
How many times have you seen just uh, just me alone? You know, say, hey, uh, how y'all doing? You got five minutes for the Lord? Nope, not today. <laughs> nope, we ain't got five minutes for the Lord. But the one, hey, the, but, uh, he, uh, hey, if he puts us out there for one person to hear the word or for everybody to hear, uh, for uh, uh, any Israelite to hear the word and even get marked. Because the scripture said you're going to have no cloak for your sins. This word has gone out to the four corners of the earth. I don't know what the hell you're thinking. You, you think yourself to be in good case, don't you? You see? <laughs> Isaiah 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass, his master's crib, as two dumbass animals. But they know where to go. They know where to go at the end of the day. They know the mouth that feeds them. See? They know, they know what to eat. They know what fields to go to. They know the fertile grass. You know, they know the good, the good uh, sweetened water to drink, which is here in Babylon doesn't exist anymore. We, back when I was a child, hey, we could we could drink out of the damn uh, out of the damn creeks, man. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have done <laughs> Salakia. Maybe we shouldn't have done that, you know, back then. But it was you, you could tell it was, clean, it was way damn cleaner than now. When it rains, the damn uh, uh, the water turns black. It turns black, man. And and then here and here you are and here and here all you them two thirds talking about we black people. <sighs> Isaiah one and verse three: The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. They don't know. My people doth not consider, man. They don't even consider. They don't even consider. Lord Jesus, uh, he uh, help us, help us, Lord Jesus. That's not his name. And he didn't, and, and guess what? He didn't come back for you. He came back for the elect. For his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh who are Israelites, man. The one third, the 144 mighty men that's going to come up out of them chariots, out of that cloud. <laughs> oh, man. What, 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 what wedding garments on? With, what else? With all the law, with everything written in our foreheads. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. You have a right to a part of that number. We're going to jump on down right here. Acts 15 and verse 16. After this, I will, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is falling down. Who's, who's falling down? You Hebrew Israelites is falling down. You in the lowest state, Jake. You in the lowest state. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize it was written in the Bible that, that, uh, uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't see it anywhere written in the Bible where where the uh, where the Israelites are going to own all the damn banks in the, in the whole entire freaking earth. I didn't read that part. Not until the end. We still here, are we not? See, <laughs> you, 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 you have no idea what you're what you're teaching. You know, hey, man, you you in danger. You in danger of, of getting burned on this side, man, having your head down in the kingdom. You don't want that from hell about Shem Yahushua. You don't want it. You have no fear. Acts 15 verse 16. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David. Did he not say I'm the root and the offspring of David? Eh, uh, immaculate conception. Just give me a break. Which is fallen down. Which is what? Which is fallen down. Oppressed and spoiled forevermore. And that's just a period of time. Look the words up. Good Lord. And I will build again the ruins thereof and will set it up. He going to set it up. What did he say? You're going to be judging the 12 thrones of Israel, man. That's why our gates are going to be open continually. You mean to tell me, are you, what Bible are you reading? See, that's the thing. You Christians, so-called Christians, you ain't reading. You ain't even never reading. You been going to church with your damn feathers in your hat, calling it macaroni. <laughs> Salakia, you know. Well, I, I, with, your, with your clean suits on, looking like an old pimp from the 70s. You know, you all y'all up in the church 60 to uh, 70 damn years or however damn many years. And you still don't know who the hell you still don't know that Hebrew. You don't, you ain't never heard of a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Verse 17, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord. What the residue? It's a remnant. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Did the scripture not say that? Is it not a remnant? Did he not leave 7,000 men a number of completion? Huh? 
Did he not multiply us in a in, 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 uh, punk ass Egypt? Did he not? 70 souls came into a great multitude. Now the number of the children of Israel shall be the sand of the sea, which no man can number. How's one going to become a thousand? Wait to the kingdom. He said, wait ye upon me. He said, I will repay when he returns. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 17, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called. Did you hear that? And all the Gentiles. Were we not once Gentiles in the flesh? Didn't the scripture say that too? It's two different Gentiles. You got to study, man. You got to study. You got to study Israel. Don't shoot the messenger, but that's exactly what Pastor Porkchop just did. We're going to get them today. <laughs> We're going to get them. Get, what do you mean? Woo. And all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called. How about Shimei Yahusha? Say after the Lord who doeth all these things. He, he does what? All these things. This is his movie, his scriptures. This is his word made flesh. Rivers of living water is flowing out of the man that's sighing and crying for the, uh, for the abominations in the midst thereof. It's clear to see it. It's clear to see it. It's, it's either in you or it's not in you. Because what's in you, damn sure going to come out. It's going to come out. You can't stop the truth. No, no, no. You can't stop the shine, baby. You can't stop the shine. That This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. You know, and it is, it, it is not even, and even that song going off. It's not up to me to let it shine. It's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shine. Woo. Know unto the Most High are all his works from the beginning of the world. I'm going to leave it sitting right there. That's heavy. You know, hey, again, hopefully this lesson was edifying. And uh, y'all, hey, if you still up in these damn harlot houses and still believe in this and that, you know, being uh, persuaded with every wind of doctrine, tossed to and fro like a dumbass, then, hey, you stay there on. You stay there on. Give it all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors. To the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, the bishops, and all the brothers, all the way on down to brothers like me. Okay? And all uh, of meekness and humbleness, all of it, man. Hey, shoo -hoo. we got a savior coming. And, he, and, it's, and it's not the one that, uh, uh, that, that Christianity taught you. It's the Holy One of Israel. Every chance you get, chant, uh, chant this place down. DTA and Kwam Yasharala, wa a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom. Yes, let's go. Shalom.